Hey, welcome back into today's video. Yes, that was the clap in intro. As you can see, I'm uh, incredibly confused. Uh, and I guess we can talk about that before we get into today's video. I don't know if you like this intro or if you like this, this intro. Um, let me know. It probably doesn't even matter. It's probably more of a me thing, but I feel like I just wanted to talk about it. But that being said, today's video, um, we're going to talk about my thoughts about the Anision show. I was asked what I felt, what I thought, the thought process, how I felt when they asked me to be in the show and what the, what, what was going through my head. And I did, I recorded a special piece for, um, Nicholas Diorio. That piece is here. So I was asked to give my experience on um, how how I felt when they reached out to me to do the Anision show or Anision in real life and why I turned it down. So it, it was really weird timing to me because I had just finished uh, recording a video talking what, reasons why I wouldn't do it, why I think it was really bad that this show was had came to existence in the first place. Now. It's important to note that any other show that was brought in any different way, I, I just feel like it would be okay. But the way that this show was brought in existence was off of the back of lies and off of the back of survivor stories. If uh, Chris Hansen himself had said to each and every survivor, you know, hey, there's a possibility of this happening, um, this is my intent, then yeah, that's okay. That that's That's the issue with this documentary this show is because that's not what happened in fact it was the opposite of what happened it was almost like these people set out to uh withhold truth and that's just that's just not good so i just put out my video uh talking about why this is a terrible show and why and all the reasons why i just I'm, i don't want to be a part of it and then they reach out to me and then they say to me hey this is going to be a good show and then i thought well well, all right then, just sign me up. I was really confused. I'm like, well, you guys are going to use Survivor Stories without their permission. They said, no, we're not. Well, I heard that uh, one of the survivors was going to be reading the Survivor Stories. They said, no, that's not going to happen. I had it all in writing. And I was like, why should I come on here and do this show when I've been talking so negatively about it? And they said, well, this is a, a chance for you to reach a, a, a broader audience. And uh, you can get YouTube's attention on other topics. And then I thought... Wow, that is that is a really good thing, I thought. But I was still confused because the whole premise of the entire show, obviously, is, it's, it wasn't, it's not good. So I, I did my, my list of, of should I's and should I not's. I, I forget what that's called. It's uh, uh, pros and cons. Uh, so, and then I said, well, I'd been sitting here and I've been on an escapade uh, talking about the, the the bad things and that's what I've been saying on Twitter it's what I've been saying in my videos so of course my audience and not just me everybody else's uh, audience and viewers is feeling this you know the, the same vibes that we were putting out so when we're, we're sitting here like full on like saying no 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 and then all of a sudden we're just gonna do it because we get the offer and uh, they say well you're gonna get a lot of clout off of this I was like that's that's not that's not good but then I, I wanted to give it a fair shot I said, I want to tell, I want to ask my viewers, I want to ask my audience, I want to ask the people that I've been telling this is not a good thing, what they think, uh, based on your reasons of why it's a good thing. And they said, no. And then I said, well, I'm not going to do it. And then they said, well, okay, do it. And then I thought, well, that's odd. Then I asked on Twitter, made a tweet, did a poll, and then it came back that it was leaning more towards me to do it. And then I got in a live stream, and I asked, uh, Reb Zion asked, Edwin asked, everyone else what they thought and everybody had the general consensus of well we don't trust this tv company we're not going to do it and then i said uh to rep zion i was like well what do you think this was just between me and him and he said uh you know i'm not going to do it i don't feel safe with this you do you do you and i really appreciated that and you know after considering the the thought i just didn't feel like after I'd been talking about how bad this show was and, and all the pitfalls and how it was born off the back of lies, uh, for, for me to just switch and then to just do it, that's 
that's not me. I'm not going to do that. If there was any other circuit, if it was another show and it was more straightforward, yeah, but that's not what this was. After everything was said and done, they did reach out to me and say, hey, we, we understand why you, you didn't feel comfortable doing this show. We understand your stance on this. Uh, it's a shame. We would have really liked to have you on the show. And I said, that's okay. Um, I'm glad you guys figured something out. And then they asked if if it was going to be okay for them to use my videos for my channel. And then that's completely fine. That's for you. So I really can't tell people what to do, what not to do with my videos on there. And if uh, as long as um, they said they wouldn't change any context, I said, no context change. Using it to make the points that I've already made. And then I don't have to go on the show and I can still... Uh, hold my stance perfectly fine that's okay do i think that it it's potentially good or not i really can't say or not i really i really that's i guess that's uh for the viewers to decide when the show comes out i'm not going to um uh put down anybody that did go on the show because everybody has their own reasons to do things my reason is not the same as everybody else's reason i was actively uh talking down on the show and saying my own reasons of why i didn't feel that way that, that was just me. That's my decision. Anybody else, you do your thing. But <clears throat> my that's, that's my initial experience and initial reaction. I hope that helps everybody out there. You do you. And though that piece perfectly describes uh, my thought process in, in, the, in the long run, I do feel I caught myself when I was watching the show struggling to figure out a reason why the show existed because um, it just didn't. It just didn't feel right, but I know this is a subjective opinion, and I would like to know your opinion in the comment section below. Now, obviously, there was reasons why I didn't go on there. They were my own reasons. Anybody else wanted to go on there, that that's great. Um, they may or may not be using clips from my YouTube channel, Fair Use. They want to do that. That's all them. Um, but I just feel like that in the grand scheme of things, in the way it unfolded, that's my that's that's my piece on that. So, but we need to talk about the best part of that interview. That's right. I tweeted about this about 16 hours ago. The only good thing about the Anision documentary was Edwin looking fly AF. Uh, so this is a Edwin. As you can see, he's got that fire flannel and that really good. We're just gonna analyze it. He's got the the really good gold chain there. He's wearing the bling. He's looking great. He's looking fresh. I think that at least his parts in there, because he came across really coherent. He he drug his his points uh, directly and straightforward. It was a solid uh, a solid piece. I, I'm gonna say that. Now I know that um, you have your own opinions about that. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm really liking this. Uh, th I'm I'm recording my video the the old way that I did it. It just feels like. There's a saying, if it's, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That might apply in this situation. That's just, you know, that's how I feel. Now, I don't think every show, every episode's went out uh, about it. So another thing I think it's important to know about this is that it came out on a streaming service. I think it was Discovery Plus that it, that it was, they were trying to build up some hype on their, their platform and then it was going to go to TV I think it's going to go TV around the 14th or the 20th later in this month. Um, it's very confusing for me to see this show come out when it's supposed to bring more eyes to a situation to raise awareness when it was put behind a, a gate at first in order to drive up some traffic for a streaming service. A little bit weird, but it is going to go to uh, television later on, I've, I've been told. So... Like I said, in general, if this was brought about any other way, and again, can't stress it enough, if the show was brought about, if it was born in a more um, open and honest way, I feel like it would have been fine. Uh, people, again, they have different opinions on the way it was brought about. But um, I'm sure it has a purpose to serve. That being said, there's my thoughts on that. Please let me know about my intros and outros doesn't matter what what do you like do you like this new thing i got going on i'm testing the waters i just want to be able to convey my content in a in a format that uh is respectable that you guys appreciate and i just want to that that's it 
that's it so let's have a good 2021 don't forget to put positivity turtles in the chat it's very important i'll be down there and i'll be looking and reading your comments that being said and as interesting as this is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for those likes as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video